Hello everyone. Today I am going to discuss about the sequencing problem. So that is problems with n jobs through two machines. So this is I will be discuss with one example problem. Here we have to find out the sequence which minimize the total elapsed time and also we have to find out the ideal time for each machine. So let's start the our solution. First step in our solution is we have to identify the which job having the minimum processing time on the which machine. Here we have to observe that one minimum processing time is 2 hours for a job A on the machine 1. So mark the 2 number and write the optimal sequence table. Here you have to observe the number of columns in optimal sequence table. It is equal to the number of jobs. Here we are having the total 9 number of jobs. So total we are having the 9 number of jobs. So number of columns in optimal sequence is also 9 numbers. Next we have to observe the we have to fill the jobs in optimal sequence table for machine 1 from the beginning of the table and for machine 2 from the last of the table. See here minimum processing time is 2 for job A on machine 1. So place the job A at beginning of the table. Then we have to delete the job A. Next to minimum value is 3 for job E and job G on machine 2. If the two jobs are having the same minimum same value on the same machine then we have to observe the processing time of the other machine values. Here observe the machine 1 values for job E and job G. Job E having the minimum value on machine 1. Then we have to place the job E at last position in optimal sequence table and job G is the next to the job. Next to minimum value is 4 for job C and job I on machine 1. Job C and job I having the minimum value of the 4 on the machine 1. Moreover, we have to observe that one. Job D also having the minimum value of the 4 on the machine 2. See here, first we have to observe the machine 2 values for the job C and job I. Here we have to observe that one. Job C having the minimum value on the machine 2. Then we have to place the job C first in the sequence after the A. After that one, we have to place the job I in the sequence after the job C. Then we have to place the job D on machine 2 after the job G. So next minimum value is the 5 for the job B and job H on the machine 1. Here have to observe that one machine 2 values for the job B and job H. Here have to observe that one machine 2 values also having the same values. Then we have to place the job B and H randomly means in the sequence have to place B comma H or maybe H comma B in optimal sequence table after the job I. So here I placed the B and H is maybe H and B also will get the same values. So next minimum value is the only we are having the only one job that is the job F on the machine 1. So we have to place the job F after the job H. Next step is we have to find out the total elapsed time and ideal time of the each machine. For this one, first we have to draw the tabular column. Here, first column is represent the jobs. So job means so sequence of the jobs which we got the from optimal sequence table. So first we have to place the all the jobs in the in the order of the sequence which we got the previous table from the optimal sequence table. After that one next column is 
machine one see here machine one having the two so one is the in time another one is the out time so in time is representing the waiting time of the waiting time to receive the respected job similarly out time is represent the so machine in time of the respective job so next to column is for the machine to next to column is the ideal time of the each machine so first we have to going for the to calculate the so machine in time or maybe elapsed time for the machine one so all the jobs after that one we have to find out the ideal time of the each machine see here first is the job a so first we have to going for the machine in time uh, so on the machine one and machine two here we have to observe that one machine time for job a is on the machine one is the two and machine time on the machine two is the six so first one is the we have to go for the machine one so in time is nothing but to receive the so it's a waiting time to receive the job here there is a no waiting time so what do you mean it is the first job it is the waiting time is the zero so in time is the zero so next out time is nothing but so in time plus machining time see here out time is in time plus machining time so job a on machine one machining time is the two so out time is in time to zero plus machining time it should be zero plus two it is the two so next is the next we have to move to the machine two in time is nothing but so waiting time to receive the respected job on the respected machine see here so job a will be move after complete the machining on the machine one then only it will be moved to the machine two see here two hours is taking place so two hours is taking to complete the machining on the machine one then only it will be moved so in time for the machine two is the two and out time is nothing but in time plus machining time see here machining time is the six so total two plus six it will become the eight so next we are moving for the job c see here job c in time is nothing but waiting time to to receive the respected job on the respected machine see here machine one is busy up to the two hours after complete the after completion of the two hours only it will be received the respected job so respected job that is the job c it will after complete the two hours only it will be receive the job c so here in time is the two hours then out time is see in time plus machining time let's go for the job c on the machine one so machining time is the four so out time is it will become the two plus four here six see next one next we have to move to the machine two here we have to observe that one machine two is busy up to the eight hours so after completion the eight hours only it will be receive the respected job so in time is the eight other simple shortcut is you have to compare the values of the out time of the machine one and machine two so which have in the greater value just you have to place the here otherwise so just you have to go for the concept concept is simple so in time is nothing but here machine two is busy up to the eight hours after complete the eight hours only it will be received the job c so in time is for the job c is eight hours so next out time is in time plus machining time so machining time is the seven so eight plus seven is fifty so next we have to move the job i on the machine one so here machining time is the four so what is the in time so in time is nothing but waiting to waiting time to receive the job i so machine one is up to six hours is busy so it can't able to receive the job i so here in time is six so out time is six plus four so ten so next here is for the machine two for the job i in time is so 15 hours why it is the 15 mean up to the 15 hours machine two is busy then it can't able to receive the job i otherwise just we have to compare the out time between the machine one and also machine two then which having the highest value that is also have to place it so in time for the machine two for the job i is 15 hours then out time is 15 plus processing time 11 it should be the 26 so next in time is 10 hours 
for the job B on machine 1. So next we have to move to the job B. For the job B, so in time is 10 hours on machine. So out time is in time plus machining time. So here it should be the 50. So next on, on machine 2, for the job B, in time is it should be 26. Why 26 mean? Up to the 26 hours. So machine is fully engaged with the job I. So it can't be able to receive the job B. So here in time is the 26. And out time is in time plus machining time. So 26 plus 8. So it should be the 34. Next we have to move to the job H on the machine 1. So machine 1 in time is 15 then out time is in time plus machining time for we have to move for the job H out time is so machining so in time plus machining time so machining time is the 5 so 15 plus 5 it should be the 20 so next we have to move to the machine 2 here up to the 34 hours so machine 2 is engaging with the job B so I can't able to receive the job H so in time is 34 hours then out time is in out time is in time plus machining time for the job H. See here job H is machining time is the 8. So 34 plus 8 it is the 42. So next I have to move to the so job F on the machine 1. So what is the in time? So 24 20 hours is the machine 1 is busy. So he can't able to receive the job F. So in time is the 20 and out time is the in time plus machining time for the job F. So 8. So 20 plus 8 it is the 28. So next we have to move to the machine 2 for the job F. Here in time is it should be the 42. Why it is a 42 mean up to the 42 hours machine 2 is busy with the machining of the job H. So it can't able to receive the job F. So in time for the job F is 42 and machining so and the out time is in time plus machining time. So for the job F machining time is so 9. So 42 plus 9 is it will be 51. So next I have to move to the job D. Here what is the in time and out time? So obviously in time is 28 and out time is in time plus machining time. So let's go to for the job D. In time is the 28 and out time is 28 plus 9. So this is the 37. Next I have to move to the for the machine 2. For, so on the machine 2 for the job D. So here what is the in time? Up to the 51 hours, machine 2 is full busy with the job F. So, it can't be able to receive the job D. So, machining, so in time is 51. Out time is for the job D. So, in time is the 51 and out time is the in time plus machining time. So, 51 plus 4, it should be the 55. Next, we have to move to the job G on the machine 1. See here, in time. 37 so job G so 37 plus 7 it should be the 44 next here for the machine to in time is 55 plus out time is the in time plus machining time 51 55 plus 3 it should be the 58 next we have to move to the last job that is the job E so in time is 44 and out time is in time plus machining time. So 44 plus 6 it should be the 50. So next we have to move to the uh, on machine 2. So here 58 is the in time and out time is the 58 plus machining time of the job E. So that is the 3. So total 61. So now our total elapsed time, total machining time. So to complete the all these jobs so in the order of the sequence to total elapsed time or maybe total machining time of the for the jobs in the sequencing of this one this sequencing order a c i b h m d g e total elapsed time is required the 61 hours see so next we have to move to the ideal time the so ideal time is ideal time for the machine one and machine two for ideal time is so so waiting time or maybe wasting time let us answer wasting time only let's see here for the machine one 
So in time out time just have to compare. So in time 0 2. So next job is 2 6. Next is 6 10. 6 7. 6 15. Sorry 10 15. 15 20. 20 28. 28 37. 37 44. 44 and 50. So here there is a no waiting time. Only here is after so total jobs will be complete the on the machine one is 50 hours only but total elapsed time is the 61. So ideal time for the machine one is so final so total elapsed time minus 50 so it will become the 11. Similarly here have to compare the waiting time for the uh, ideal time for the machine two is initially you should have to wait the two hours. So it is the initially is there. After that one, 2, 8, 8, 15, 15, 26, 26, 34, 34, 42, 42, 51, 51, 55, 55, 58, 58 and 61. So there is a no, in between also there is a no waiting time. Only initially having, only initial job only having the, the waiting time. So here ideal time is the 2 and final one is 61 minus 61, it is the 0. So total ideal time for the machine 1 and machine 2 is the 11 and 2. So now we have to conclude the our conclude for the so uh, conclude of the problem. This problem is so total elapsed time is the 61 hours and ideal time for the machine one is the 11 hours and ideal time for the machine two is the two hours. So thank you.